that. There's there's actually a lot of people that are that I'm interested in collaborating with. Um, there's Mucho TV. Mucho TV is my guy. He's he's one of the reasons that I, I I kept pushing on with the the comedy stuff, man. He gave me some tips when I was starting out with it. Really good guy. So I'm looking forward to working with him. Uh, a man like Joseph is another guy that I want to work with too, uh, down in Toronto. Um, and I've been in contact with Bilal Dawson. I'm hoping to see how, hoping to see how that works out too. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm ho I'm looking forward to working with those guys. Yeah, it's Daphne Salim, and I'm with FXC, and this is Applying Pressure. I go by that funny Salim on Instagram. I post funny content. Uh, I do pranks, skits, uh, funny dances, and all that stuff. I, I do a lot more too, and I will be doing more in the future. I was born in Congo. I moved to Rwanda for a little bit, and then I went to Uganda, and then eventually I came here. I came to Canada when I was about nine years old, uh, living in Waterloo, um, and then I moved to Kitchener, and this is where I've been living since. So what got me into the skits and pranks is uh, originally I started doing uh, interviews uh, like trick questions and stuff like that on Snapchat and I would post them on Snapchat and I'd get a bunch of uh, reactions to them and stuff like that and then eventually I stopped doing that and started doing dances. Uh, every morning I'd post a funny dance on Snapchat uh, but then I posted one of them on Instagram and it kind of got a lot of uh, views on it so I thought hey why not post them on Instagram from now on uh, and then from there on I started doing that and I started doing pranks uh, and skits uh, and then from there on I just started doing more and more and more of of that stuff so I started adding on other things too along the way and that's where I'm at now uh, honestly that's tough um, when I started off doing this stuff I I I've always always worried what are people gonna think what are my teachers gonna think what are my parents gonna think what are my friends gonna think and that stopped me from starting earlier and I regret that I always now I whoever I talk to uh, kids in the younger generation I tell them hey like just follow your dreams like if, if you want to do it do it who cares what people think right um, so honestly I just stopped caring like I just I just do it and at first people were hating on me for it but like now I, I, I see they they message me they DM me every once in a while you know, I, I like this video this video is funny so that, that stuff keep me pushing you know and when they do DM me that stuff, you know, I read it, you know, I reply, oh, thank you, I, I see that. But Loki, I know, you know, I remember. My favorite piece of work I put out, damn, that's tough. Uh, my favorite piece of work would have to be uh, uh, the one I did in uh, well, one of my old neighborhoods growing up. Uh, I gathered up all the kids in the neighborhood and, uh, damn, is that even my favorite one? I don't even know, man, I don't even know. It might have to be the boxing one where I pretend to be a boxer. That was also done in my old neighborhood. And uh, I got kids to join in it too. And I got one of my homies to join in it too, which was a fun shoot. Like I actually enjoyed making that video. So I, I'm gonna have to give it that one. I'm gonna have to give it that one, but it's tough. I'm gonna let you guys decide, yo. Comment in the uh, comment down below what, which one, if you see my videos, which one is your favorite? Let me know. Um, <laughs> honestly, the motivation, the, what keeps me pushing uh, is the fact that I, I don't know what I want to do when I'm older like I, I'm 22 years old and I still don't know what I want to do you know so if you're in that situation man like it'll come at least I think so I still it hasn't come yet but at least I think so um, so my motivation is hey like you haven't you don't know where your life is gonna take you yet so why not just follow this route and this is the route I'm following now you know so like I believe it could pay off I believe this is what I, I could do for the rest of my life so I'm just gonna chase that dream you feel me Honestly, as of now, man, I'm I'm super, super busy. You know, I don't even have downtime to myself, you know? So I don't even know where you could find me. Just find me on roads, you know what I mean? I'll be on the road like an Uber, man. So, you know, just, I, I can't even, I can't even answer that, man. Like, I'm just, I'm everywhere right now. <laughs> it's hard to understand. Uh, so, uh, I just hosted recently the first uh, Fall Fest. Uh, if you were there, comment down below. Say what's up, you know? I'll see you. But, um... Uh, I hosted the Fall Fest and I have other opportunities coming my way like uh, um, there's other comedy uh, comedy there's a comedy club that just hit me up and they want me to um, perform there do a little uh, stand-up comedy but I haven't done I haven't done that yet like professionally I haven't done that yet so um, I'm waiting on that I'm waiting to see where that takes me I'm gonna have to start writing down stuff um, but 
as of now that's 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 what i have coming up just stand up comedy yeah there's there's actually a lot of people that are that i'm interested in collaborating with um there's mucho tv mucho tv is my guy he's he's one of the reasons that i i, I kept pushing on with the, the comedy stuff man he gave me some tips when i was starting out with it really good guy so i'm looking forward to working with him uh, a man like Joseph is another guy that I want to work with too, uh, down in Toronto. Um, and I've been in contact with Bilal Dawson. I'm hoping to see how, hoping to see how that works out too. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm, ho I'm looking forward to working with those guys. My plans for the future. Honestly, the thing is, the way my life is going right now, I don't, I don't know exactly where the road is gonna take me. Like I, I, I can't really say I have um, proper plans. But I, I know that I'm. Um, I know that I want to end up uh, traveling while doing this. I wanna. I wanna go to Cali. I wanna go to um, Europe again. I wanna. I, I just wanna travel and be, and work with other people along the way. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. But no steady plans as of now. Um, my biggest accomplishment would have to be getting on World Star Hip Hop. Uh, I know, like there was a point where I was thinking like hey man maybe this is not for me and as I was thinking I remember that exact same day I was thinking like hey man like I'm doing all this but it's not it's not paying off yet it's not paying off yet and then I remember getting posted on World Star and that's when I was like okay I gotta keep pushing I gotta, I gotta do this you know if they find it funny if other people find it funny especially that big of a platform if they find it good then that means I can do it so that just pushed me to do it to do it more and more often what the world should know about that, Bunny Salim, and I'm gonna get close to this one. I'm gonna get close. What the world should know is that I look to inspire, you know? I look to work with many people. I look to change. I, I don't wanna just be another comedian. I don't wanna just be another person posting stuff on, the, on Instagram. I wanna build connects through that, and I wanna work with people worldwide. I wanna, I wanna help people. I wanna help people get to platforms that they can't even imagine. And as of now, as of now, I'm not there yet, and I'm working to get that. So once I get that, that's when I plan on, you know, hooking the rest of the world up is how I like to do it. I want to make the world laugh. I want to make the world smile. And I just want to bring peace and love towards everybody I'm around and towards everybody that knows that funny Salim. I've been doing well. See me make it plays. Yeah, I know that you can tell. Like, oh. Damn, 400 for the bell. I need my money giant. Got me feeling like Odell. Uh, sipping on a cup. Yeah, I'm in the whip. I'm riding. I don't give a fuck. I peep her IG, then I slide.